What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I have a video that hopefully you guys won't need, but if you clicked it, you probably do need it, unfortunately, and that is how to fix the update requires restart bug in Infinite Warfare. This is a bug that we've seen pretty much every update. There are some people that run into this bug. I would say it's not extremely widespread, but it is widespread enough that I decided to make this video finally on it, because I often get asked on Twitter or in my comment section, how do you fix this bug? And this bug, just in case you haven't seen it yet, after an update, it could be a hotfix or a title update, when you try to boot up the game, you get the message that says update requires restart. And that's a normal message for a lot of people to get. And with that, you hit exit and it will kick you back to the loading screens and it will load the game again. And most of the time, for most people, everything's fine after then. It downloads that hotfix and you'll be in the game in no time. But sometimes it just keeps giving you that same message and keeps kicking you back to the loading screen and it just does it over and over infinitely. Even if you close your app, even if you do a full hard reset on your console, it still keeps doing this to you and it can be really frustrating. So today I have four solutions to this issue that you can try. Keeping in mind though, I can't guarantee that every single one of these solutions will work for everyone. This is why I'm sharing as many of them as possible, but I can pretty much guarantee the final solution that I have for you guys in this video will work. So far I have yet to see it not work for somebody. But it's definitely a big headache to deal with in the final solution, so make sure you try the first three steps first and use my final solution as a last resort. So first up, this solution actually worked for me. I've only ever run into this issue once, and this solution worked for me. It was very quick, very straightforward. If you have the Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered bundle, all you have to do is boot up Modern Warfare Remastered, and in the menus for Modern Warfare Remastered, once you've booted up that game, you can find an option to select Infinite Warfare. By selecting that, that will boot Infinite Warfare in a different way than it would normally boot. And for me, and for a lot of other people that I've heard try this as well, this immediately solved the issue. You no longer got the update requires restart loop. And the nice thing about this as well is if it works for you, you don't have to keep doing this every time you boot Infinite Warfare. It essentially just solves your issue and you can keep booting Infinite Warfare normally after that. This is definitely the first thing I would try, assuming you do have that bundle with Modern Warfare Remastered, because it's extremely straightforward, it takes almost no time at all, and for a lot of people, it will instantly fix your issue. Now, if that one didn't work, the next thing I would try is boot Infinite Warfare offline, hop into a campaign mission, and like actually load up the campaign mission, then quit the game, then try to boot into multiplayer. This is a solution I've heard work from just a couple of people so far. It's not as widely used as the first solution that I gave you, but some people have said it works for them, so I thought I'd toss it in this video, especially for those people that want a quick solution or a potentially quick solution without having that Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare Remastered bundle. The third quick solution I have for you is possibly only PlayStation specific. I'm not too sure if it works like this in Xbox One, but if you go into the PlayStation Store, or I guess you could try the Xbox One Store, you should be able to boot the game from there as well. So go to the store, find Infinite Warfare, and then try to launch it from the PSN Store. For a lot of people, this has also fixed that issue for them. They do this once, it fixes the issue, and then from then on, they can easily just boot the game normally. Now, unfortunately, if you tried all of those things, there is the last resort option, like I said at the beginning, Make sure you try the other steps first, and if those ones don't work, this is your last resort. Completely delete the game off of your console and reinstall from a fresh download. I know this solution isn't ideal at all. For a lot of people with really slow internet, this is going to take a very long time to download all that data again and reinstall it. And there's also some people out there that still have data caps on their internet, and that is a lot of data. For a lot of people, that will be like your entire month's worth of data just to re-download the game. So I understand the headache, I understand the frustration, but like I said at the beginning, I have yet to see this solution not work for somebody. So if you really just wanna get back in the game, you've tried the first three steps and nothing is working for you, this is your last resort and it should almost definitely work for you. So there we have it. Hopefully these first three solutions work for you guys. If not, at least I hope the last resort works for you guys with the fourth solution. I'd like to know in the comment section below if you've run into this issue before and you found a different fix for it other than what I've explained in this video, please leave that as a comment down below and that will give people an opportunity to scroll down there and check for possibly another solution if these solutions don't work for them. 
Also, if one of these solutions does work for you, I'd really appreciate it if you would just let me know in the comment section below which solution worked for you to fix this issue, just so the people are seeing how effective each one of these solutions is for the people that are watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.